what it is what's up what's up y'all just got back from the gym like i said yesterday cold outside man windy outside woo 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 <laughs> that's all i can say Hold on, let me turn the sound off one two sound off three four Shoot, what's the leaderboard looking like? Someone, yep, I was about to say, someone got to be at 1.3 mil by now. 1.3 mil. Mm-mm-mm. You know what, this is a different type of bragging. Because uh, <laughs> you you spending money on this. But a different type of bragging. Like I said, you know, I, I salute these folks. They putting in the work. They putting it in. Mm. I mean, it sucks that you know we all spend our money in this game in different ways. Some people do it for every single aspect, and that's including this. But um. You know, I wish that these folks didn't have to do that. Honestly. Constantly replaying the stages. But worrying about getting knocked out of the top 100 or even the top 10. Uh, that right there is stressful. And if you made it to number one, that's another stress. Where you trying to hold down number one. Like Matt, I'm sure. Is he online? Yes, you see? This dude is still replaying uh, stages over to make sure he stays number one. And, wow. So, but good luck to them. And good luck to y'all if y'all, you know, you're trying to get to the top 100 as well, man. Real talk. Uh, so I finally got Geth John up. And I'm happy. <laughs> Honestly, I'm happy. Uh, I used her in the war yesterday, and she was 4-77. And when I had her with Guardian Gazelle, and I used her special when she was dancing in the spirits, she did 1,200 damage. And I was like, whoa. But with Black Knight, she does around 835-ish to 940-ish, depending on the hero that she's hitting. And uh, where we at? Man, I hate this freaking Titan. Green Titans are the worst because of the heroes that you're dealt with to, you know, try to take this Titan down. But, um, anywho. Well, you know what you came for. Yep. The next set of rings. I don't know. I'm debating if I should use it for Aslar so I can get his, uh, start using his costume. Or Lady Loki or Kagan for his costume to use against the Titan. 
but I'd rather use at Costume Aslar and Lady Loki over Kagan. You know, I might as well just keep him at 370 and just level up his costume. And, you know, just leave it at that because I don't think he needs to be 480 to go up against the Titan. Like how uh, Mickey. So, yeah, ain't he slow? And I'm not trying to give him any of these fight, uh, Ranger class emblems either. Because majority of them are going to Gef June. I mean, John. Sorry, sorry. Gef John. <sighs> All right, the, the war match. No, yeah, we end up winning this one. And y'all heard what I had to say yesterday about the war equalizer or cheetalizer. <laughs> and you know what? You're right, homie. I mean, yeah, we got to come up with a new strategy, but it's it's a lot more difficult because unless you got a bunch of snipers that just do mad damage. Instead of doing, you know, AOE dot, you know, across multiple heroes, then I don't know. Like, especially going up against green, I don't know what to say on that. That's that's just different. Kind of sucks for in the game players. To, like buying this don't mean crap. You don't need food anymore. You know, you don't need to level up buildings and stuff. Like, you can always get food now, like the top food. It'll fill up real quick. So having that or even unless you got a ton of heroes you're trying to level up at one time, you know, and the, uh, for emblems, it's, it's pointless to buy that. But if you're brand new at the game, I can see that they're going after you more towards the end of game so that, i think that could have been like something useful instead of just that but let's get in it uh, let's go ahead and get buddy up in this mug want to be my buddy my buddy and me my buddy <laughs> Wherever I go, he goes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you see that the power in the game said, Nope. We we getting this up now. Come on, he gotta go. Dang on. Oh my goodness, man. I ain't getting I, I knew it. Can I get something? How does she already get the... Uh, why does she have that? Okay, the plus. All right. So, with, she already had death down, and that didn't even add more to the plate, I guess? Oh my gosh. She's on steroids. On steroids. Yo, I've been getting way too many purple and yellow. Yeah, 
you y'all see this right here way too much purple and yellow in this whole entire match for no reason <laughs> the game is not trying to oh my gosh it's already been said it's been predetermined for me to lose it has I mean come on now all this purple and yellow really this is this is how y'all want to do me you really wanted me to lose this match and I can't even man Oh my gosh. I, it was predetermined for me to lose. All right. All right. Whatever. Right? I was supposed to have lost when the game made the decision going into the match. So we move on. Tons and tons of purple and yellow. Jeez, I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not buying back into this BS. I'm not. I'm. Instant, instant pop, man. All right, y'all. You know, I hope y'all do well in this tournament. You know, it is what it is. This is all about money. <laughs> it's all about money. All right. I made it as far as I can. So y'all take care on that side of the house. So let me go ahead and do this Titan. All about money. Yeah, this video is boring already. I, I'm not I'm not feeling this game at all right now. And y'all already know that. Ain't no secret to the BS. Uh, so let's talk about something else. So, uh... This whole PS5 and Xbox uh, X and S series situation has still gotten out of control. And I pretty much knew what the deal was. Um, why certain... Certain... Uh, dang, 1188. 
Um, certain stores, they do this. And I'm, I'm going to tell you all about this situation. This is going back to... Was it December? No, it was October. So October 2017, over three years ago. So y'all remember when the SNES Mini Classic was popular and it was hard to get those things. And um, I'll go into GameStop they had one on the back counter. You know how they have like a little setup on the counter behind them from the cash register? And there was one sitting there and it had the thing on it. Last one. So it is 30 minutes before closing time, right? I come in there and I said, that, is that the, that's the last one, right? I just want to confirm. She said, yes, yeah, the last one. I said, okay, I would like to get it. She said, now this is the manager. It's a female manager and a female worker. Just, you know, co-worker there. Just a regular worker. And the manager looks at me and says, well, I'm going to let her buy it because it's the last one and we don't know if we're going to get another one. I was like, who's her? And, the, and she was standing right there and she just looked at her and I was like, you? The employee? She was like, yeah. And she's like, so I said, uh... I said, are you allowed to do that? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. So she was, I was like, so why do you have it sitting right there? It says last one on it. So I'm in here. I want to buy it. No, I'm not going to sell it to you. They got cameras running. I said, okay. Sorry. I, said, I told her, I said, you know what? You know your karma is coming for you. Oh, boy. She got mad. I said, nah, nah, this is on camera. Y'all got cameras in here. Your boss will see it. So don't get it twisted that when it comes to the PS5 and Xbox uh, X and S series, come to find out this was happening where employees and managers were, uh, they were hiding the systems I found this out. So this is why Walmart decided to take down the PlayStation 5 on their website and the app. I didn't know this. Do people were going in there and I didn't even know about these apps called a uh, Brick Seek or Brick Seeker and uh tag on. There was another app where you use it and it shows the location. Like if you go in front of the store or in the parking lot or something like that, and they'll say they'll pull up for the app for that uh like that store and you type in PS5s, it can show in the inventory how in their system how many they have in the store. So people were going there, hey, uh they don't see it in the, the glass case, right? But they have it in the back. Well, this app says that you have five ps5s in your inventory and they were lying oh no it's uh actually we don't have any anymore and all that it's like no you actually do uh that this app right here is showing that you have it and then it was cases of employees getting art like serious arguments with the customer trying to come in and buy it like they were literally coming at these cats like are you serious right now so you see that 914, right? I was like, yo, they are now arguing with the with the customers. And sure enough, they did have them. So you know what they did? They it's like, okay, we'll get your manager. Go get your manager and we'll hash this out. So the manager comes. Oh well. These P these five PS5s are for customers who already bought it. They just haven't came and picked it up. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. That is a bold-faced lie. I've worked retail. I've worked at Foot Action when I was in college. I've worked at uh, um, 
lows over the summer, especially I can I can tell you about lows. Right. So <laughs> you gonna get that damage. I'll let her take her out. I hit the button. Ah, oh, damn. That's right. She removes mana. So uh, they're lying to the customers. It's it's there there's it's a bold faced lie. So basically, one of the dudes waited outside until the the store closed and kept refreshing, and then that store that had let's say two, all of a sudden they got taken out of the inventory. Now. If you see workers coming out, going to their cars, and you see a big-ass PlayStation 5 coming out of there, they lying. So when I worked at Lowe's, and we had these black cell phones. I forgot the name of it, but it, it was actually tied to the store's inventory. So if you go on the Lowe's app or you go on the website and you pull up this, this store location in your area, right? And you're like, uh, I want to look for this type of mulch or this type of rock or this type of cinder block or this type of flowers. And it says on the site or the app that the store's inventory has 10, right? Now, if they were telling the truth, this cell phone, excuse me, shows exactly, it's, it's actually tied to the inventory. Now, the app can be one thing. Sometimes it'll be on point, but here's how you know that it's true. The moment this actually have this dude wanted 200 uh, flagstones, flagstaff stones. Yeah, flagstones. And it was like hazelnut color. So this is back in July. I'm at work. I'm back there in the uh, outside lawn and garden. Oh, my gosh. Outside lawn and garden, right? This uh, dude wanted two hundred. He he looks on the, the he looks on the site and sees in the inventory that is there. Mind you, a customer got here to the store fifteen minutes before he did and bought all of it. He gets to the store. He comes to me. Hey, I want this stone. The dude. That already bought it 10 to 15 minutes before he did. He's waiting for my co-worker that's on the forklift going to the back where we had it outside and going through all the stones to pull it out. He had his truck and his flatbed ready to go with all the straps, cargo straps. He was going to, you know, tie the tie down straps. I said, sir, we already just sold all of them to the guy. This guy right here, this gentleman sitting right here. He's he's looking at the customer who bought it. And he's like, what your website says you got 200. I said, okay. Um, let me see if, if it's updated. So I go to customer support and, um, in customer support, it shows that it's already, it's in, it's already zero. It's already zero. So the actual app didn't update with the inventory yet. The person who deals with that has to update it, has to update the app or the website for it to show. So he gets upset. I was like, hey, man, he didn't get upset at me, but he gets upset. I said, listen here, dude already bought it. Now here's the deal. You can A... Go ahead and, um, you know what? Let me hit her. You can go ahead and talk to this man and make a deal with him because it's his now. He already paid for it. Ain't nothing we can do about it. Or B, you got to wait until we get some more in. So they started talking and it was time for me to clock out. Now, but when it comes to that app, that app can see in the actual store's inventory 
even though the store app didn't update, but it was still showing in there. Had he, if he would have used that app, it would have said, "Hey, uh, they're out." I didn't know this. So now it got so bad that Walmart decided to just take, remove the PlayStation Five completely off the site. And then there was people, I guess, that worked at Walmart in certain stores. It's like, yo, man, be nice to the employees and this and this. And I was like, hey, hold up. Why would you tell the customers to be nice to the employees when the employees are lying to the customer? That makes no sense at all. So it's okay to lie to the customer, but then you want the customer to be nice to the employees. I was like, man, come on, get out of here, man. It, it it goes both ways, man. You can't have your cake and eat it too. And that one dude that exposed GameStop, his manager, he was only a seasonal a seasonal worker, and he he exposed him. He showed him. He's like, yeah, the GameStop that he worked at had it only showed one PlayStation Five on the paper. So the manager went in the system and, and updated it and said only one is left. When technically there was a uh, more than there was only there was technically two, but he haven't purchased it. So his manager said, "Hey man, I'm." He's like, "Hold up, why we only got one left?" He was like, "Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh." <coughs> I'm going to hold one for myself so I can sell it on, resell it on uh, eBay. What? We got 60 people waiting outside thinking that we got a lot of PlayStation 5s here. I know. But we only go on the sign, on the window, you're only going to put that there's one. But it was actually two in GameStop. It said the one was in the back for the manager. And he went ahead and paid for it early like he's and he wasn't supposed to do it so when he printed out the paper it only showed one that's messed up so he bought that one playstation 5 and took it home and posted it on ebay or amazon to resell it for 800 to a thousand or twelve hundred dollars to try to make money that's crazy that is trash i was like bro that dude's gonna get mad karma mad karma and you got these people out here standing in line for two days straight hoping to get one. The first two people that's in line. So now you just screwed out the person that's in second. Second. And they don't even know. That's dirty, man. You got dirty folks out here. That's, and it's not just, it starts from the top. I'm not only going to pick on the people at the lowest level. It starts from world leaders all the way down to <laughs> your basic employees. They're, you know, they're doing the low paying jobs. And that's just the way it is, man. And it's sad. And then you got people tricking folks into buying PlayStation 3s the, not PlayStation 3, PlayStation 5s that is just the box. Just the box. I'm like, come on, dog. That is, that is just, boy, straight up outright wrong. <laughs> nah, she's got to go. That's wrong, man. To do people like that. <sighs> so, you know, it's just best to hold out if you're looking for these new systems and just wait until April may of next year summertime and don't give the scalpers and yo one dude bought from a scalper he paid what was it a thousand or twelve hundred dollars you know what that scalper did 
the scalper put a cement brick in the PlayStation 5 box. Dog, you talk about... Ooh. He had it recorded, opened it up, saw the PS5, taking it out of the box. And then all of a sudden, there's a cement brick in there. Thank God that it was from eBay where he can get his money back. And he had proof showing that mess. Number two... Uh... One dude last month, well, two weeks ago or so, bought from, I think, a store or a store advertising PlayStation 5s. And you know what they did? They sent Last of Us, the was it the PlayStation 4 Pro Edition bundle with Last of Us and had a picture of the PS5 on top of the box. He, this dude thought he was getting a PS5 and he opens it up. PlayStation 4 Pro bundle edition with La, uh, the, the Last of Us. And it had a on with uh, elastic tape the daggone P, uh, PS5 that he printed out and cut it out and, and had it on there. I was like, oh man. And I'm going to leave y'all with this part. This dude bought a, he actually got a PS5 from a scalper. And guess what? There's a video of this. You can see this online. He turns the PlayStation 5 on and setting it, setting it up, right? And when it comes to signing on with his PlayStation network, guess what happened? It says that this console has been temporarily, permanently or temporarily banned. So he call, he hits up Sony Network and it shows the co conversation, like like chatting conversation. Dude got information back from the the customer support who he's chatting with, saying the reason why this console has been permanently banned from being on, getting on the Sony PlayStation Network, the PSN or PlayStation Sony Network. That's the Sony PlayStation Network. But it doesn't matter. It's because it's been reported that this console has been stolen. So you know what that means. The FedEx drivers and the Amazon drivers, the U USPS drivers, UPS drivers were actually, and employees from the factory were still in consoles. The workers were stealing the consoles. And because they stole them and they weren't paid for, the company went ahead and reported it stolen. And they knew the serial number of that, that PS5, the ones that weren't there and that didn't get paid for, because they get the inventory. These people are stupid. They don't care. They don't know that back in 2002, when I was a temp, a seasonal employee for Walmart, this dude tried to return a, game, uh, a GameCube that he bought from Toys R Us. Mind you, again, November 2002. He comes back there to the electronics department. Now, my co-worker is working this situation. It's him and his homeboys. He's like, yeah, man, it don't work no more, man. I want my, I want my money back. So he's like, okay, well... Do you have the console? Yes, I have it. I have it right here. He said, well, give it to me so I can pull it up in the system. Oh, no problem. He didn't know that he was going to look up <laughs> that GameCube, the serial number, right? So he pulls it up. And this is old computers, the old cash registers that I that we was dealing with back in them times, right? Man, when I looked there and I was standing there, here's what we saw. It pulled it up in the system and said, this was bought from Toys R Us on this date from this customer. It didn't pull up the credit card information, 
but it still pulled up exactly the store location gave all the information when it arrived at that store like all in green letters the old school computers and he looked and he said sir uh, what's your name he's like oh my name is this what's what's the problem what's the problem he said uh do you know who this person is no he said well right here we're seeing that this console was bought from toys r us on this date from this person from this store you know blah 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 he's like oh well never mind oh thank you can i have my console back he's like no 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 hold up hold up let me call my manager no i want my console back i uh no, thank you so he he gave him his console back and i said bro what just how he said man they stole this from somebody and they were trying to return it and try to get money i said what he said look i looked at the computer monitor and saw it i said what i didn't know the technology back then could do that he said yeah he's like you think walmart is some like little punk ass company <laughs> He said, man, do you not realize that people, they said, when they said that they prosecute you for one cent a penny, one U.S. penny, they're not playing. They will prosecute you. And I was like, dang. I was like, yeah, I know. When I was going through the hiring training, they kept, they was not, man, they kept saying it so many times. You're like, okay, all right, all right. I get it. If I steal or if a customer steals, we're going to jail. That's it. They was not playing. He said, I only let them off the hook because they're young. All right, y'all. I hope y'all have a good day, good evening, good night, good morning, whatever you want to call it, man. Um, good luck to y'all that's going to finish this tournament. Take care of yourselves. You'll hear back from me on the next tournament, all right? I love y'all, man. And, you know, stay blessed, stay safe out here. Don't lose your minds. Don't lose your money on this game or anything else that you got going on out here coming up for Christmas. And for y'all who don't believe, you know, you know what to call your day on the 25th. All right. Get ready for this new year. Let's pray that we go in a good new year, you know, from what we just dealt with from this year. Man, this was crazy. A crazy year. We lost so many people. And people who was close to me too. Alright. Y'all take care. Peace, love, and happiness. One, I'm out.